So hello everyone and welcome to the fourth edition of Lift India Film Motsav and Awards, a World Cine Fest 2020. And uh, today we are in conversation with uh, uh, Mr. Riju Bichaj, the founder of Lift India and Rukama for the movie, uh, Give It Back. So let's Thank start the happy. conversation. Yes. Thank you. Uh, uh, you were saying, Madhvi, you have a lot of questions for this film and you were very wanting to meet the director of this film. So here is the director of the film for you. So yes. it's between you and Rukama now. Yeah. So, um, Mama, I wanted to ask you, is that it's a, it's a story about yourself? Yes. I moved to Israel at a very young age from New York. And so it's yeah. not it's not all based on my life, but it's inspired by things that happened in my own life and experiences that I went through. Well, every child, or rather, uh, we all have our childhood memories which are stuck in our mind somewhere when we are bullied or when we bully someone. So it's a kind of uh, you know very nice blend you have shown that you know you, you know a guy who is a utopian and you you he helps you and you are though coming from New York and uh, and apart from that there are other aspects like you want to go back to those memories and live again and do what all you couldn't do. So it's a wonderful yeah. message that I got from this movie. Is that what you wanted to give it to the audiences? Yes, I felt like even though so many years have passed since um, since this happened and since I was in elementary school, I think that these are things that are still going on and that everyone could relate to. And people are still immigrating and moving from different countries. And also I think everybody is used to sticking and being friends with people who are similar to them and who have similar cultures to them. And I just wish mm -hmm. um, somebody encouraged me maybe to do something different. And I think that this film shows that you can do things differently. And that's just what I wanted to share. But it's such an irony, right? When we are small or when we are in the childhood era, we don't realize uh, that little things, but what you have shown in the movie just sets it right that yes, give it back. You realized that yes, you understood the bulliness, what was going on. You realized between a good, you know, I must say, uh, a liking towards someone, you know, uh, who helps you, you know, you are in a dilemma, but you know what's right and you did it. But I think you wanted to do some more in your life. And, you know, when if you were given a time machine to go back, definitely you would love to live that memory and do more about it. Yeah. So how, how about the cast and everything, uh, you know, in this film, I see so many girls around and, you know, how did you go about it? So actually a lot of the people in the film um, are, are from the elementary school that I filmed at, which is actually also the elementary school that I went to growing up. Um, okay. The main character, Olivia, with the curly hair, she's from my mm -hmm. hometown, Bay Chemish, but she did not go to that school. But she went, I found her through like a drama um, class that I knew a lot of English speakers went to and she was just she was perfect and the fact that she had curly yeah. hair off it was a bonus. <laughs> Absolutely it's a replica I must say she's yeah. a replica if you see you can easily connect to you oh yes you are the one you know I could yeah. easily you know reconnect it and another aspect I would like to ask you that uh, how many days did you shoot and where was the shooting done in which location? So it was four days, um, okay. full days, like from seven in the morning till about, I think, five um, in the evening um, with a lot of breaks because there's a lot of rules and laws when you're filming with kids and a lot of snacks. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Yeah, and I filmed it in my hometown in Beit Shemesh, which is a suburb outside of Jerusalem. Okay. Uh, another thing I want to ask you is, just a moment, that what is 
even now stuck in your mind that made you make this movie i think that um it started in a in a writing class in film school that mm -hmm. um that we were supposed to write about a secret that we had when we were little and mm -hmm. my secret was that i had a crush on the ethiopian boy in my class and i never said anything because i only spoke to the english speakers and there were two ethiopian boys in my class and they only spoke to each other and it was very separate and I thought, like, what a shame. I could have been friends with this kid. I'm sure he's a great guy. Um, and, like, I, I don't know what I missed out on by just deciding that I was only friends with the English speakers because I speak English and because I, I moved from an English-speaking country and so I only want to be with people like me because somehow that's what I understood from society. So I just mm -hmm. I really felt like it was my opportunity to go back in time and do things differently yeah. and, and it was the only thing that came to me yeah you want to show the best part of your life that you really were in love with the boy and you couldn't express it so that was an opportunity for you to express through this movie wonderful Mr. Riju, sir, you have any questions, please. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, um, they're not questions, but they are just, uh, I mean, uh, when we see a film, I mean, uh, I'm sure every child will relate to a situation it. like this. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, because I think everybody goes through a situation uh, similar to this uh, at some uh, stage of his or her school life or a college life, you know, when they are moving from one city to another city, or maybe they're changing schools or, you know, uh, between classes. Yeah. Uh, and getting used to a new set of uh, students or a new set of class uh, and different kind of mindsets and you know the characters uh, it's, it's very interesting to see that uh, like you said that uh, it's based upon uh, your uh, secret childhood secret that you wanted to put it on paper and made a film on uh, were these characters also uh, that real of uh, which were there uh, during uh, that period uh, like all your uh, the colleagues, the classmates, you know, the bully friend and, you know, all those characters were also there uh, out of your personal experience or they are fictitious. So um, the, the Ethiopian boy is very similar and he is like based off of that kid. And he also was bullied um, in his school. So he related to the film and he felt very connected um and he is like the drawings were all him he's very talented like he 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 didn't need he's a kid you know how how well could kids act he didn't need to act like he was playing himself and also the mean girl in the film she was also built bullied in her elementary school so i think it was very important for me for everybody in the cast to understand the story and to think that it was also important for them Yes. And and like the group of mean girls is something that I think you have in every school, and you just want to be like them. You want to want to fun with them. You want to do whatever they're doing. And even if you know that they're doing something mean and wrong, mm -hmm. then um, you you still kind of want to do it because you want to be friends with them. You want to be cool. And actually, what they did in the bathroom, throwing the paper on the ceiling, we actually yeah. did that in elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. I mean, that was a very fun moment. You know, it was uh, it, it really transports us uh, into our childhood and, you know, all uh, the mischievous uh, things that we used to do uh, as kids, you know, which was it, it's very relatable. And uh, so you've learned filmmaking in uh, uh, during your uh, period when you were staying in U.S. No, I studied film in, um, in Israel, in Jerusalem. All right, uh, because your uh, introduction mentions uh, you've been in uh, primarily been in Long Island and then you moved from there. I, yeah, I moved when I was very little. Okay, and uh, so uh, the uh, the difference that you saw uh, between the kids uh, when you uh, came to Jerusalem from US uh, was real. I mean, they uh, did not accept you so easily, right? It, you, it right. took you time to make friends with them, you know, when you came home. Yes, yes. They actually made fun of my tuna sandwich. You know how in the in the movie they make fun of her sandwich. So 
So yeah. in Israel, it's not cool to eat tuna. So <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I made fun of my sandwich and I didn't eat that day. So there's a lot of things that you learn that that like different cultures have. When you're moving, you just you discover by being bullied or watching other people. Yeah. You you want to do every uh, sort of stuff to just be in the good books of the so-called gang, you know, yes. the head gang. But you know, at the end of the day, I saw you you very uh, nicely have you know shown that uh, she comes and give you a paper to just see whether you can do it or not, and you just did it, and we're like, okay, come with me. So that shows that you know you are in with them for the good thing. You know, yeah. a good guy but a basically a bullying gang <laughs> one very interesting thing uh, which uh, comes across in your film is that you've shown the girl uh, enter the school uh, very silently you've caught her from outside you know getting off the bus and crossing the road and entering the school and you're introducing the school very beautifully you know the entire uh, the space uh, which she is getting into which is totally alien to her which is new to her and she's not used to that and how that space is uh, uh, alien to her also in the sense you know because that space does not know her so it's like both the people like the space and and the girl coming into unison and getting to know each other uh, through the experiences and uh, she's mostly silent uh, yeah. did you ever think of uh, putting words uh at that point or you deliberately chose her to be silent until you know uh, she says for the first time give it back i think that's uh, right so i i deliberately wanted her to be silent um most of the film because i wanted just like with the opening scene it was very important for me and i also said this to the cinematographer and i think he did an amazing job I just wanted everybody to experience the world the way she was experiencing it and she didn't have like she's in a new country she doesn't know the language so if she spoke maybe she would speak in english would they make fun of her if she tried to speak hebrew would they make fun of her so a lot of the time i just felt like there's nothing that she could say that that would be safe you know like if she doesn't want to get bullied or she doesn't want to get picked on and she's also trying to learn um what the status quo is she's trying to learn from the class and the students around her and by doing that you just have to watch and not really speak and i also think that actions speak much louder than words and so i tried i really tried to prove that she's she's like the protagonist and she's leading the story without needing to speak Yes, because uh, it's almost uh, halfway down the film. Uh, we don't see her speak. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's all moments, it's silences. It's just the looks and and you know those actions, uh, actions and the moments and the emotions uh, which uh, are uh, transcending and transforming and you know changing in the situation where she is acclimatizing herself and the introduction of the boy that uh, you just mentioned. uh actually while watching the film uh we fell in love with the boy i'm sure the girl would have definitely fallen in love with the boy <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's very interesting uh, that how you introduce that boy i mean it's it's so sweet i mean and again you chose him also to remain silent right yeah because i also felt like they could Unfortunately, I was in friends when in elementary school with the Ethiopians in my class because it was like the English speakers were separate, the Ethiopians were separate, everybody was like connected only in groups by their culture. Um but, but they have a lot to relate to. They both immigrated from a foreign country and Hebrew isn't either of their first language, so they could relate and then I wanted them to to connect through through um sitting next to each other, through drawings there's many other ways for people to connect to each other um than just speaking and so that was very important to me uh, yes yes ma'am we go ahead yeah. no 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 you please carry on you please carry on i'll ask you that carry on carry on okay uh, uh i wanted to know how, uh, how is this film done uh, uh, back home there at your 
end? I mean, uh, what is the response of the people that you've got from your own people now? Um, it's actually, it's done very well. It's also been in a lot of festivals all around the world. It's won many awards and it's been very well received in Israel. It's been in a lot of film festivals and it's also showing in some like schools. Um, so I think that I'm very happy and honored that the, that, the, that the film was successful. And I hope that that means that it's relatable, that people could connect to it and that people can learn from it. And um, hopefully it'll do some good. Like that's what, that's why I need it. Yes, definitely. I think it's, it's a must watch for all kids. I mean, it, it just sends a lot of message. I mean, even the silences they speak and we as adults uh, can relate to it. So I'm sure it will make a lot of difference to the kids when they watch this film. So it's it's aptly uh, uh, like you submitted in the category for the children's film. It's a short film which can uh, definitely be in a, in a children's film, you know, uh, and it's a must for all the, you know, the children to watch this film. I hope and I just wish that there is a platform where this film can be seen by uh, all the people all over the world because these days, like for our festival, we are not having any uh, live screening or a virtual screening of the films. Uh, for obvious reasons, because we don't want to uh, get into the online virtual screening of the films and then, you know, uh, fight uh, the piracy uh, and the pirates and all which, which right. these days are. We have a lot of screen grabbings happen. So we've de deliberately chosen that we are not going to be screening the films, but yes, we will be selecting them and nominating them for the awards, uh, you know. And so we wait for the 25th of December, uh, what the jury decision is finally. but. All the films that we have selected and especially the nominated are beautiful and awesome. Uh, and Give It Back is uh, one of the most memorable films that I've seen in the collection uh, that we've got uh, for this year for the Lift India. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you Rukhava for sending this film to Lift India. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh... See, it's, it's, because, it's, it's because of uh, the filmmakers like you that uh, our festival uh, gets recognized because we get films from filmmakers like you. So it's our honor to have films uh, from you. Uh, it's not that, uh, you know, the festival cannot be without good filmmakers around the world. Thank you. Yeah, so I must ask you that yeah. in the end, you say that you know you're trying to uh, start it all over again so mm -hmm. in reality the olivia in reality is rukama so you did you happen uh, did you happen to meet uh, the one whom you've shown in the movie you loved him <laughs> or did he see the movie we're friends on facebook we've spoken you. Um, and actually, there were two. There were two Ethiopians in my elementary school in my class, and the other one I'm actually very, very good friends with. Not the one I had a crush on. The other one. <laughs> um, but, but now I try in my work. I, I'm doing a master's now in human rights, and I volunteer with oh, yeah. the, with the refugees in Jerusalem. So I try. I try to do what I can that maybe I wouldn't have had the strength to do back then. So. Hopefully, in my actions, I'm going back. Well, very good. Just keep fingers crossed and wish you all the very best. And it was a lovely movie, and I loved it so much. It really touched my heart. Thank you so much. And yeah. Thank you. Thank you for submitting. So, to on this note, uh, we'll wrap this uh, session, Rukama. And uh, we look forward to many more films from you. Yes. You. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> more <laughs> yes and Absolutely. we really Absolutely. wish you that you make a lot of films right all right thank you thank you okay. for uh, spending your time for lift india to come up thank you so much for having me yes thank you thank you it's our pleasure it's our pleasure thank you thank you yes. bye-bye